This video will cover precise placement. The precise placement tool allows you to translate or rotate a part or group of parts a specified amount. This command can be accessed in the following ways. From the assembly toolbar, select the precise placement icon, or from the assembly ribbon in the assembly tools group, select the precise placement icon. Select the parts you want to precisely move. If you want to translate, choose the specific distances for dx, dy, and or dz. Click the Apply button. If you want to rotate, select the item you want to use as the axis. It can be any hole, select an edge, a linear edge, or an axis. Set the degrees and click the Apply button. Every time you press the Apply button, the selected parts will move and or rotate. Keep in mind that existing assembly constraints will override the precise placement tool, so if a part refuses to move or rotate, check to see if an assembly constraint has locked the part in place. Since the parts are only moved to a new location, a new assembly constraint will not be created in the Design Explorer. The reverse option will cause the translation or rotation to occur in the opposite direction from the current settings. The reset button will cause everything to revert to the same positions they were in when the precise placement tool was activated. Undo last simply undoes the effects of the last click on the apply button. This video covered the precise placement tool. The precise placement tool allows you to translate or rotate a part or group of parts a specified amount.